So I wanted to try and explain uh, the difference between how middle to upper class people think and the mindset that they empower their children with versus how middle to like lower income people think and their lack of empowerment or positive mindset that they pass on to their children. Uh, so I grew up in a middle to upper class, like, I, I guess, I guess everybody was, I don't say, want to say class, but income was probably mid to, um, higher income. And one thing that I really wasn't aware of growing up because I wasn't exposed to this was that how people who have money treat their kids is really different than how people who don't have money treat their kids. Um, and I don't know if it's because of the money. I think honestly it's because people in lower income areas, uh, they're in a cycle of abuse. So you see a lot of deadbeat dad situations, you see single moms, you see addiction, um, alcoholism, uh, family problems. There's, there's, um, it, it's not just these problems. Like it, the root of it, I think is disempowerment. Um, and the parents of children in like lower to middle income families, you know, working class, blue collar, they don't, they don't, uh, give them confidence. They just, they just don't, there's a, there's like a, a real, there's, there's like a real negative, toxic view, like the whole outlook that they have on life is they're, uh, they're scrappy. They are argumentative. They're really negative. They will take, uh, a neutral statement that you say to them. And if for any reason they decide they don't like you because of something they made up in their own head, they will twist what you said and they will turn it and they will interpret it as negative when you actually never meant negative words towards them. They have a, a lot of people, uh, who grew up in, you know, a situation where they didn't have a lot of money, you know, it was a little bit of a rougher neighborhood, maybe, um, you know, some different kinds of problems, personal problems. There's this kind of insidious toxicity, uh, that people who were born, you know, in families or raised in families that have a little bit more money, they don't understand. Um, if you're a person who, you know, was raised in middle to upper class, um, area, if you, if you end up in a person, if you end up with a, if you end up marrying somebody who had a hard life, didn't grow up with a lot of money, um, unless that person had an exceptional, like their parents, uh, you know, were sort of enlightened. I think that's pretty rare. Uh, and what you're going to get is you are going to get people who, they, they just, they don't, um, they don't see opportunities. They don't take action on opportunities. They don't, um, they don't recognize their own personal power. They're negative. They are judgmental. They don't encourage their children. They don't look at their children's potential and, uh, look for opportunities to hone that, um, I, I really, I'm just like shocked that ha like the, it's a, it's a whole mentality that pulls you down into just like n going nowhere. Um, it's, you know, not having a mom who cares how well you do in school. Um, 
not having a dad who expresses, you know, the importance of you being safe. Um, not having friends at school who were taught manners. They're rude. They don't say thank you. They are scrappy. I think, I don't know if I already said this word, but like, they're just fighty. They're fighty, you know. They're always looking to find the negative so they can pounce on it. Or they're always looking for your weakness. Or they mistrust you. They don't they don't believe that you could truly just like them or want to help them. Um, they've been abused. They've been neglected. They have been messed with. Uh, there's a lot of single moms who raised kids... Uh, without fathers, um, they are, they don't appreciate things that were given to them. They, um, it's, it's, you know what it is? It's emotional intelligence. There's not a lot of emotional control or emotional intelligence. It's, it's actually like you are surrounded by children. You are surrounded by children who depend on the government um, just for their some of their basic needs. Um, once they start getting things handed to them, they just expect more. They complain. They are defensive. They don't... They're just not... It's, it's just not pretty. Um, it comes from abuse. Like, it's a cycle of abuse. It's abuse that ends up with kids growing up feeling unloved and then turning to alcohol and drugs and then getting pregnant and you know having families of their own and just repeating that like that's what they know that's how they live it's disturbing uh people who you know grew up in privileged families they glamorize poor people they glamorize people who had tough lives I don't want to say glamorize. They're like, I don't know, they glorify it or something, or they, they, they have pity on these people, but they don't, they don't have an understanding of how toxic it is. It's like, it's like you're almost in like the seventh circle of hell. You're being pulled down by these hands. Like, is there, is there a graphic of just, just like hands, like, it's not just the government. It's not just the corrupt politicians. It's just everything. It's just, it's families. It's like the, um, the broken families or the, the dads, you know, the abusive fathers and, you know, the mothers who have like some sort of daddy issues who, you know, don't know how to get respect or, um, oh God, like, I don't know. It's just, uh, they're all sexually involved with each other. They're all, like, they take drugs. They, you know, um, there's a lot of really negative, like, that, like, oh my God. If you're a person, you know, that, um, picks up on other people's feels, if you surround yourself with people, you know, who, who grew up in the tough neighborhood, like, like you feel, you feel their negativity. They, it just like, I don't know. It's so drags on your psyche. It just, I'm telling you, it's like these, it's like those hands. It's like that image of the hands. Just like, like, like they're all pulling you down. I, I cannot explain it. It's, um, there's so much to say and I, I don't know how to say it all. It's, it's. I don't want to say it's illuminating. It's something I didn't want to know because I don't know how anybody could stop it. Um, you know, it's a really, it's like groups of people who never grew up or gained wisdom. Um, and you know what else is a curious thing I've noticed about these people? Like they love hard. Uh, they fight, like, way more viciously than people who are, you know, middle to upper income. They're, 
they're they're just more intense all around they um they fight hard they live hard and they love hard and when you see them in love it's actually like mind it's mind-boggling it's mind-blowing it's like wow you know like i i really think that their feelings are just way more intense than somebody who you know has lived an easy life um you know you get like a couple young people and they're bringing kids into the world like like man like it's like whoo i can't i don't even know what i'm saying right now it's just shocking like i don't i don't have a lot of sympathy for people uh who don't have i mean i, I guess they can't help it but when you come from when you come from a place of um you know lack these people came out of lack and hardship and you know i don't i seeing what i see i don't feel bad for them but i do but i don't it's just um it's something that you don't want to get sucked into I believe that hell is, there's no such thing as heaven and hell as an afterlife. I believe that it's here now. Like, it, like, if you, I think that abuse causes mental illness. I don't believe in mental illness as a, like, in, in and of itself. I don't believe in absolute anything. Like, I think that everything is relative according to everything else and that if you were raised by toxic people you're going to develop a mental illness and it's not it's not something that's chemical and it's not absolute i think that it is spectrumy everything's everything is spectrumy and everything is everything can be changed um you know just based on our uh ability to um heal ourselves you know you can heal your your health by making you know healthy choices and what you eat and your life practices and i think your mental health can improve um but i i also think that you're not born with mental problems i think that toxic people you know whose parents abuse them actually cause mental illness i do after what I've seen, like just as like as a detached observer of people in different uh, socioeconomic systems, like I think people cause each other to be mentally well or unwell, and like the the people who live in you know impoverished areas, you know who had tough lives, like I don't. It, it's like, the, I'm telling you, like, the whole thing is like a hell on earth. It is. Like, hell is here. It's not, there's not afterlife. It's now. You make it. You make it your own hell or you make it heaven. Uh, and to do that, you got to be so strategic and so careful in your life. You know, you can't, like, if you pick a partner you know, who had a rough life and who was raised by, you know, people who were not civilized, you're going down. Like, you're going down. Unless you have the fortitude to pull that person up, you either are going down or you're going up. Or, you know, he's either taking you down or she's either taking you down or you're going to pull that person up and it's going to be so hard. It's so hard. Um... I don't know. I just... <sighs> I don't know what I'm saying. But... Um... I'm just, like, I, I know, like, people people who, you know, came from difficult lives, like, they did not empower your children. They don't empower their children the way that people, you know, in, like, you got parents, you got grandparents, you got teachers, you have coaches, you have, you know, just 
citizens of the town, when you're in a community of all these people together, they uplift one another. They empower one another. The language is empowering. The mindset is empowering. Um, the practices that they use, you know, to raise children, they're taught good things to do. They're given information, tools, resources, mindset, encouragement, emotional support. These things are not available to people who were raised in lower income, um, depressed areas. Uh, they're, they are not, they're not given the same things. They are not encouraged by their families. They just don't, they don't have, they're not empowered. They're just not. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying, but I, I don't, I don't know like what anybody can get out of it, but this is what I've seen and um, it's just like overwhelming.